Hi guys. Fifth one. So wow, it's really coming along great. I can give it to you in all one shot, which is good for me because I can just keep continuing. So where we were at, okay. So basically, Gon uses the hook, which is Ezekiel 38, which is Russia, which is the weapon of his indignation, okay, to chase down and destroy his main enemy, which is Peter Pan. Peter stands for uh, Peter, a shadow of the first pope. Pan stands for God of the flocks, so it's a direct reference to the pope, okay, Captain Hook, chasing down the pope which is the beast from the earth, who is the prince of the air. This one incites and provokes the beast from the sea. Okay? He is the number one beast. He provokes and leads astray the flock. Okay? Those on the land. Those on the earth. Okay? which is one of the reasons God needs to get rid of them really quick, like now, okay? He's enticing the beast from the sea, from the sea, because he's the beast from the land, and he's enticing the people, the beast from the sea. We think about the croc, we think about America, that took away the arm of Russia, but like I said a while ago, it's bigger that the sea represents the mass of people as well, okay? So the Pope is enticing the mass of people to rebellion, because that's the second issue the Lord has, okay, with his children, rebellion. So the first beast enticing the others to rebellion. Okay, so two reasons that the Lord is coming. Okay, if you see throughout Peter Pan, the whole time we could see that Peter was always trying to get the croc around Captain Hook all the time. Okay, there's a lot of hidden symbolism in there, there's a clock ticking, there's uh, Captain Hook chattering of teeth, and um, I haven't looked at all that, but I mean the symbolism in that movie is incredible, okay? But uh, Peter is always trying to get Captain Hook to fall into the hands of the croc again. Okay, he's always enticing the croc. So the Pope is always enticing the beasts from the sea, the people, to rebellion just the same way Peter Pan is doing with the croc, enticing him to rebel against Hook all the time. He is showing it to you, okay? Which is why the Pope needs to go. It's his number one enemy. Instead of bringing people to Christ, he's enticing them to rebellion. He's the anti-Christ, okay? He's the beast from the pit, from the earth. Enticing the croc, the people, the, the beast from the sea. The beast from the sea being America. Okay? So enticing, I don't want to say Barack Obama to rebellion, to war. Okay? Because I don't know if I want to go that far. Although there is a croc, which is not the Antichrist, not Peter Pan. There's a croc. Okay, they're all different people. But uh, certainly the beast from the sea represents the mass of people that the Pope is leading astray. Peter Pan is leading astray. We see it with the righteous. We see it with Wendy, with the lost one. He's leading them astray. Okay? With his lies and his dreaming and his false everything that just is not real. Okay? And people are buying into these fantasies, okay, of the Lord, these false doctrines of the Lord. It's like a really serious, serious offense, very serious issue against the Lord, okay? So, Peter Pan, um, which is the beast from the earth, who is the prince of the air, 
He's enticing and provoking the beast from the sea, the cross, which is probably, I don't know, I might go as far as to say Barack Obama, but I don't want to do that, but I will say definitely the people, okay? As well as the beast from the sea, the America, the people, God is coming um, for revenge on America, his rebellious children, spiritual Eruz, uh, Jerusalem and Israel, those that have the golden calf, then you will be off to reap the rest of the world, the sea of people, the sea, S-E-A, okay? The sea of people with a net and a fish hook. And we saw scripture before about the Lord throwing in the net. The kingdom of God is like as when you, it's like in us when you throw in the net and you pull in and then you separate all the ship, you keep what's good, and you throw the fish out that are not bad, that are bad, okay? So hook is the weapon, is Ezekiel 38, he is Russia, the weapon is the indignation, is the weapon of his indignation, so it's the Assyrian. So the much talked about Assyrian, who everyone believes to be the Antichrist, is not, it's just the weapon. Uh, being used by God to bring about his justice. I know it looks bad. Everyone will think that it's him, okay, when you see all this stuff happening. But it's just, it's not, okay. It's the Lord using him to bring about his justice, okay. Um, he wants to bring justice to, to Peter Pan. So, to the papacy, who is the Antichrist, and to his rebellious children in America. And then all the nations will weep, and it's going to turn things around very much so. And um, I'm just going to continue with my message, and I'll come back to some stuff. Okay, as the bride, as brides of Christ, as tinker bells, angels, and fairies who reap and harvest, you are to go before the Lord. You are to prepare the way of the Lord. You are to be the clapper, running to and fro. Sounding the alarm, sounding the trumpet, bellowing like a hound in rut, that the kingdom of God is at hand. Especially you are to warn Peter that the hook is coming for him. You are to warn Peter Pan, the captain hook is coming for him. All the time, you're not supposed to stop, okay? Without ceasing. So you are to warn the Catholics and all those that are involved with the papacy, like all the little forms. And not just Catholics. If you're Protestants out there adhering to the uh, Sunday worship, okay, to the commandments of men, okay, you are to repent. Okay, you're to warn them that their end is drawing near. They are to let go of their doctrines and their fairy tales that irritate the Lord, and that they are to repent. The Lord, who is not only the supervisor of the bell hoppers and the tinker bells, is also one of them. So him, through you, and we have seen that before in a message as well, he is the doctor. He will fix, he will mend, he will restore. So we are about to see great, great miracles coming to pass through the bride, or the Lord through the bride, okay? He's supposed to be going around like a, a hound in a rat. Uh, it's the consummation, okay? So, yeah, the bride coming into her powers, okay? So I just want to bring a few notes, okay, that I have here. Wendy, which is the righteous, okay, she's being used as a bait in the movie. Okay, we see that um, he wants to, the Lord, okay, kidnaps her, Captain Hook kidnaps her. So it's just, which is a forceful removal. So it's a picture of the, the gathering, okay, or being captured onto him. I don't want to say rapture because it's a false doctrine that we need to get away from. But you know what I'm saying, okay? So, um, he removes them. But it, she also walks the plank, okay? And just before she plum, plummets to her death, okay, she is saved, okay? And he uses her to draw in Peter Pan. Okay? Um, Peter Pan is one who is rebellious also. There's scripture that says 
but he's going to use the Gentiles. I should have pulled out the scripture. I'm sorry, I don't have it. But to entice the Jews, to make them jealous. Okay? So they are, and we see this in the movie with Wendy, how he uses her as an enticement. Okay? To bring in Peter. We see Peter that comes in. Okay? He struggles, he's knocked over, uh, he, he's hurting, he gets caught in the sails, he gets attached to a post. And all this is his fairy trial. Yeah, it is, okay? And then he is freed. Dust is used on the ship, on the Captain Hook ship. It is raised into heaven. It takes off, okay, to bring the children home. It's the ark. Captain Hook is also representing the ark. Peter Pan is bringing the children home. Peter Pan goes through a fairy trial, repents, because there is a time in the movie where Wendy and the boys want to come home to their parents, the Lord being our parent, and Peter Pan doesn't want to let them go. And we see the church here. We see the persecution of the church, how um, the Roman Catholic Church uh, doesn't, I don't want to say hold you hostage, but doesn't want to let you go. Okay, You need to break free of that. They have persecuted in the past all those who, who were not Catholics or believed like them. Okay? So we see that in the movie with Peter Pan where Wendy and the, 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 the children, they want to come home and he doesn't allow them to come home. But in the end, we see that he repents. The ark lifts off with the help of Peter, spraying the man to dust. And he brings the children home. Okay? It's a happy ending, even for Peter. Okay? I want to read a couple of strict scriptures for you. In Daniel 4, okay? The king of Babylon is struck down. He is, his heart of stone, his heart, the heart of a man is taken away and he is being given the heart of a beast. Seven times are given unto him. Okay? It doesn't say seven years. Okay? After the seven times, okay? I, Nebuchadnezzar, the king of Babylon, Satan, I put this in parenthesis myself, okay? Raised my eyes toward heaven. And my sanity was restored. Then I praised the Most High. I honored and glorified Him with lives. I glorified Him who lives forever. His dominion is an eternal dominion. His kingdom endures from generation to generation. At the same time that my sanity was restored, my honor and splendor was returned to me from the glory of my kingdom. Seven times we, he was turned into a beast for seven times, so we see Satan coming into 7,000 years. Okay? The Bible, there's an historian view to the Bible, and there's a futuristic view to the Bible. So a lot of people look at the book of Revelations and they look at scripture and they say a lot of it has happened. And then a lot of them have got the futuristic view and they think it's all going to happen. And I think it's both. Okay? I think it has happened over 7,000 years and I think there's a little in the end where it all happens again on a much different pace and acceleration. Okay? So seven times are definitely given on to the Antichrist. I don't believe for a minute it's seven years. Okay? <laughs> Maybe seven days or seven weeks or seven months. But anyways, come on. The temple is already rebuilt. We've proved that. We're almost at the day of the Lord. Okay? 
Rome is about to fall and so is America at the hands of the Russians. Okay? So, we see Satan being cast out for 7,000 years and at the end of 7,000 years he was a great tree, he was cut down. At the same time that my sanity was restored, my honor and splendor were returned to me for the glory of my kingdom. My advisors and nobles sought me out and I was restored to my throne and became even greater than before. Now I, Nebuchadnezzar, praise and exalt and glorify the King of Heaven because everything He does is right and all His ways are just. And those who walk in pride, He is able to humble. I know we read about the air being thrown into the lake of fire, but what does fire do? <laughs> it purifies. Sanctifies. We see Peter go through his fairy trial aboard that ship. And in the end, he repents and he brings the children home. He helps to bring the children home to the Lord. He actually partakes of that ark taking off into the sunset to go home. Okay? So I know what you see out there. But it's the same thing as the story of Peter Pan. When one first looks at Peter Pan, we would think Peter Pan is the good guy and Captain Hook is the bad guy. But when we look at it closely, it's not the story at all. It's a very, very much different story that the Lord is revealing. And I don't know how he does this. So praise the Lord, only he can do this, okay? But it's a totally different story, all the opposite of what we believe. And it's the exact same way we're going. We're going to see that Antichrist out there turning the world upside down. Okay, bringing in martial law or whatever they're going to be doing. And I, and I don't even want to go there because it doesn't matter. All of it is the Lord. All of it is the Lord using these people, acting through these people to bring about His judgment. We're at the final judgment. Sheep to the left and the goats to the right. He's coming to reap with the sickle, okay? And do you honestly think that the people that he would use, he will, he will then forsake? No, he will redeem them. Because that's our Lord. He's a God of love. He does everything he does. He does it for love. So whoever is going into that lake of fire, they're just going in their fiery trial. And the more you are in darkness, well, the greater that fire obviously is going to be needing to be. It's going to be a lake of fire. There's going to be so much of it, you're not going to think you're going to see the end of it. But you will. <laughs> it's meant to purify you and to redeem you. Peter Pan was redeemed in the end. Keep that in mind. Keep that in mind. And the Lord just said in a past message, and I'm going to bring it back to you because I'm going to finish this video, okay? Luke 19.22 We looked at this week, or yesterday I did a video about the 840 cows and sheep that died on their way to Israel. And 840 was referencing Luke 19, okay? How the Father is about to take away the coins. But it starts by saying, I will judge you by your words, you wicked servant. So I just want to say one thing. Before you use this talent, which is your testimony, okay, against Barack Obama, against the Pope, against the Russians, against anything you see out there, okay? Watch your testimony. Because there's also scripture that says you are not to judge anything until the Lord comes and He reveals what's in the heart. Today He's revealing Peter Pan. Wow, and it's nothing like what we expected. And it's true about everybody. 
the Lord using everybody, the Lord using Satan and his pitchfork if he needs to, to prick you in the right direction. Because when the economy falls, even if it's at the hand of Obama, or there's an event, and martial law is ushered in, okay, these times are going to get so bad, that what are you going to do? You're going to fall on your knees and you're going to come crawling to the Lord. And that's the idea behind it. So Obama pro, pro, um, pricking things along okay, is doing the work of the Lord. You need to fall so you can come home. And he's using Obama. He's using everybody out there. There's ten kingdoms. Okay? So don't go pointing one. They're all associated together now. And Russia and Gog and Magog. And they've got Persia in there. And, and just everybody. Everybody is going to be used by the Lord. Yes, there's a Peter Pan. And yes, there's a croc. But in the end, as the story of Peter Pan proves to you, it's all meant the Lord will be revealing. Okay? There's even a scripture out there where Michael is debating with Satan over the body of Moses. And I, Jude 1 9. But even the archangel Michael, when he was disputing with the devil about the body of Moses, did not himself dare to con condemn him for slander. He would not even condemn Satan for slander, but said, The Lord rebuke you. The Lord will deal with you. So just be careful how you look at things. Keep in mind that the Lord is doing it's His perfect will coming through. doesn't matter. Who is using? It's the Lord doing it all. Rejoice. Prepare ye the way of the Lord. He is coming. And He's coming to save. Yes, some people have to fall first. They have to fall on really hard times to turn to the Lord. And He's going to be using everybody in power to make it happen. But the end result is to save. Okay? So, just Please use discernment. Okay? So, I'm going to end this series. And um, I have proven to you about the temple with the numbers. I have proven to you spiritual Jerusalem is. By default, I'm assuming America is spiritual Israel. And it makes perfect sense because it's all about the rebellious children of the Lord and the idol worshipping. And we see it as far even as California. So, um, we also, um, now I've showed you, Peter Pan means the Pope, and uh, oh, Captain Hook is the Lord, and Peter Pan is the arch enemy of the Lord. So, he's the number one enemy the Lord is coming after. So, the day of the Lord is at hand, we're going to see both Rome and America fall at the hands of the Russians. It's Gog and Magog. Thank God I've showed you now that temple is rebuilt, right? Because you wouldn't even believe me how far we are in tribulation. The, um, the blood moons are coming. We have events that are coming even before. So, um, the message from the Lord yesterday was that ships had been delayed at sea for two weeks. I don't know. I don't know. I'm certainly not giving dates. Okay, the Lord is putting out headlines out there. There are hidden messages. All I'm doing is I'm bringing them to you. Okay? Like you, I'm just, I'm watching. My eyes are wide open on the world and I'm watching and I'm bringing it to you. Okay? He decides if he changes everything, if he delays, if he accelerates. It's his timeline, it's his plan, and he works it all out. So, be blessed. As long as you know who the main players are, please be a Tinkerbell. Please be warning Peter Pan all the time. Warn the Catholics, warn the lukewarm. 
That's what he's asking you, okay? So, um, I hereby proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord from now until September 23rd, 2015. Repent and be baptized. Receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. You can read about it in Acts 238. Thanks, guys.